I'm a gameplay programmer. I'm the art director. Principal game designer. Concept artist. Audio director and sound designer. At id Software. Arcane Studios. Tungle Game Lux. For Bethesda Game Studios. Battlecry Studios. Machine Games. Cinemax Online Studios. I've been here for about two and a half years. Six years. Two, three months now. Nine years? We all love video games. I've played games since I was a kid. It's actually hard to imagine getting paid for this sometimes. Knowing that we're making something really cool, that's what gets me up every day. We make the games that we want to play. I like getting players thinking. I love the chance to create. To try new ideas. To bring new monsters to life. To excite people. To build new worlds. To make something awesome. Something that people will love for the fun a sense of discovery the story something that'll inspire people make them laugh hopefully get their adrenaline pumping a little bit smile their face is just like oh my god scream and they go like this Ugh. or cheer it's why we do what we do i'm super excited about e3 it is go time if we're lucky if we're doing it right we have something special here our hearts are kind of on the line it's been a long journey <laughs> it's gonna be pretty cool now it's time to show you the whole world everyone what we're making we're ready for our close-up i'm so ready i'm crazy the question is are you are you are you ready i'm ready i'm ready i'm definitely ready i can't wait let's do this let's go it's finally time for the bethesda e3 showcase hit it hit it, hit it. Ladies and gentlemen, Global Vice President of PR and Marketing for Bethesda Softworks, Pete Hines. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Good evening and welcome to Bethesda's first ever E3 Showcase. I, ha I have to tell you that that video still gets me a little choked up because it represents the hundreds of people that I'm here on stage representing tonight, the talented folks from our studios all over the world who work hard every day towards a common goal, to make great games. We're all excited to welcome you here tonight to kick off E3. We're in this amazing venue, the Dolby Theater, you know, best known for the Oscars. On this very stage, the, some of the best names in entertainment have received the highest honor. We aren't here to hand out statues, but we are going to have a celebration of our own, complete with blood and guts and a bunch of stuff blowing up. I think, you're gonna, I think we're going to have a lot more fun than them. Thank you all for being here with us. We put this show on for you to show the whole world what we're up to and what's coming from Bethesda over the next year. There's also a lot of folks joining us on YouTube and Twitch right now. So hello to all of you, wherever you are in the world joining us. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, welcome also to my colleagues from Bethesda and all of our studios who are here in attendance tonight. Thank you guys for being here as well. As well as all of our colleagues who couldn't be here and are watching online and then stayed up till the middle of the night in Europe. We have our friends down in Sydney who had a special party with the fans just to tune in and watch. So hello to all of them. Uh, welcome to all of our retail partners who are here members of the press, our supporters, friends, and last but not least, our fans. We truly believe we have the best fans in the world. They're loyal, they're smart, and they're passionate about games. They share our passion for great games. And that's what we're here to do tonight, to talk about games. So let's get right to it. Are you ready? Yeah! 
I assume that some of you in the audience have heard of a game called Doom before. I thought you might have. In 1993, a small studio named id Software made a first-person shooter called Doom that forever changed gaming. First-person shooters became a phenomenon, Deathmatch was born, and Doom became a cultural icon. To this day, Doom is considered one of the most important and influential games in the history of our industry, and tonight, it is back with a new Doom. Built on the id Tech 6 engine, or as we like to call it internally, id Tech 666, <laughs> it has taken the first-person shooter to a whole new level. To introduce the new Doom, please welcome executive producer at id Software, Marty Stratton. Thank you. Wow. I've had the pleasure of working on id games for a very long time, and I've been a fan of them even longer than that. So it's an honor for me to represent the amazing and talented team at id here tonight. Just like for many of you, Doom is a special part of each of our individual gaming histories, both personally and professionally. That's why from the beginning of this project, we've been inspired by the way those original Doom games made us feel when we played them. Although their premise was simple, they made us feel smart and fast and powerful. And at times, like we were part of something much larger than just that lone Marine beating back the forces of hell with a shotgun. But the foundation of any Doom experience, past or present, is unquestionably combat that's centered around three things. Badass demons, big effing guns. <laughs> that's right. And moving really, really fast. So as you now find yourself on the outskirts of a massive UAC research facility on Mars, you've been activated to do one thing, kill demons. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Doom.
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, Doom is certainly about more than just the single-player campaign experience. And now that you've seen the game's combat, let's talk about multiplayer. Yeah. Doom multiplayer is fast-paced, arena-style combat in locations ranging from UAC facilities on Mars to the depths of hell. You'll be challenged in exciting modes like Domination, Freeze Tag, and Clan Arena to annihilate your enemies using your own personal blend of skill, fast vertical movement, awesome guns, and very unique power-ups. Here's a sneak peek at Doom Multiplayer. Thank you again. We look forward to sharing a lot more on Doom multiplayer in the coming months. But as you've now seen, Doom's wide variety of guns, wild cast of demons, and fast movement provide the building blocks for hours of great entertainment in both single and multiplayer modes. But we weren't done. We wanted to provide more and allow our fans to do more. You see, traditionally, we provided our tools to a community of players with the knowledge and ability to create additional content. And their work has inspired us. So with this Doom, we asked, what if every player, regardless of platform or past experience, had the ability to build and instantly share their own creations? Like this co-op experience, where the goal is to survive wave after wave of demons. Or this mode, where you kill demons to earn credits that you can spend on ammo or health or bigger guns. Or even this classic four-player deathmatch experience. What if the possibilities were only limited by your imagination? Tonight, we are proud to announce Doom Snap Map a custom-designed, built-in gateway to an endless stream of Doom experiences created by you. At its core, SnapMap is about players never running out of fun and imaginative gameplay. It's an easy-to-use in-game tool with uncompromising depth and capability. Without any past experience or special expertise, any player can easily snap together and customize intricate maps. You can quickly add predefined or completely custom gameplay. You can even create or edit game logic to make new modes. When you're ready, press a single button to play or share that content instantly with friends or others around the world. For more than 20 years, the Doom community has been one of the most active and creative in gaming. Now, with Doom Snap Map, we're putting that power of creation in the hands of every player. And we can't wait to see all the amazing things you come up with next. Now, before I go, we thought you might want to see a bit more from our single-player campaign. Yes? Yeah. All right, terrific. So let's drop in on a little place our demons like to call home. Welcome to hell.
On behalf of everyone at id Software, we want to thank you so much for your support over the years. We can't wait to get Doom into your hands in the spring of 2016 on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Have a great night. If you would, another round of applause, please, for Marty Stratton and the folks at Ed. If you weren't awake before, you better be now. <laughs> you heard Marty talk about uh, Doom Snap Map, a great example of how Bethesda and its studios give our fans the ability to create and share mod content regardless of platform. Supporting mods is just one of the ways Bethesda is pushing the boundaries of what is possible in games. Over the last year, we've been working on how to expand how gamers create and share that content to our communities, how they connect, both to each other um, as well as to us. The result of that work is a new digital platform, and it's called BethesdaNet. This is a home for all things Bethesda. BethesdaNet will power features like Doom Snap Map that you just saw and is already being used to support the Elder Scrolls Online across every platform for millions of players. It will be at the heart of all of our games going forward and also integrate our websites into one seamless experience. You can find all the info you crave on BethesdaNet, including robust forums to talk about the games that you love, exclusive videos and articles, and access to games and new features. BethesdaNet builds on our commitment to developing and supporting great AAA quality games. In fact, it was that commitment to quality and innovation that inspired us to found Battlecry Studios and their upcoming game, Battlecry. Hi everyone, I'm Lucas Davis, Design Director at Battlecry Studios. Battlecry is an online action game with team-based combat and intense tactical warfare. Face off against opponents in the war zones and battle for the glory of your nation. Select players in Australia and New Zealand have already joined us in our alpha, and soon the rest of the world can join them in battle. Tonight we are pleased to announce that we are accepting worldwide signups for Battlecry's global beta at battlecrythegame.com. And sign up now before June 18th and you'll receive priority beta access as well as a special in-game reward. We look forward to seeing you in the war zone this fall. Until then, here's a look at how Battlecry has evolved over the last year and a sneak peek at our brand new warrior faction, the Han Republic. Battlecry is playable at E3 this week, so come by and check it out. Bonjour. Nous sommes très honorés d'être ici ce soir. Je suis Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. English, slowly, Raph. All right. Slowly. English. Sorry. Sorry. All right, good point. I said hi, everyone. Uh, we are very honored to be here tonight. I'm Rafael Colantonio. And I'm Harvey Smith. We're co-creative directors at Arcane Studios, the team that brought you Dishonored. Thank you. Arcane was started in 99 with one mission, to create the special kind of games we're most passionate about. Games with highly crafted, detailed world where gameplay experience focuses on player choice and consequence. We have always wanted to create games that rely on simulation instead of scripted moments. 
We followed our passion to create our most ambitious game yet, Dishonored. In Dishonored, you play an assassin with supernatural powers, falsely accused of murder and seeking to set, set things right. Dishonored became known for its unique blend of first person, exploration and stealth, stylized art direction, and steampunk world. Uh, we'd like to say thank you to the millions of fans who played Dishonored. <laughs> On behalf of our entire team, I can tell you uh, your passion was deeply gratifying. You inspired us. And so the reason we're here tonight is that we're super excited about showing you what comes next from us. happened again. Someone's pulled the rug out from under you. An empire at your feet, and you've lost it all. Be honest, did you really deserve any of it? More important, what would you do to get it back? Careful, there's always a price to pay. What you decide will ripple across the years. Blood in the gutters and corruption on the wind. It'll be fun watching this unfold. What will you do with the power I've given you? How will you make your mark on this wretched world? In Dishonor 2, the Empire of the Isles is in jeopardy once more when an otherworldly usurper seizes the throne. You'll travel to Karnaka, a once dazzling coastal city on the southern edge of the world, and hunt down new adversaries as you alter the fate of the Empire. This time, you have the choice to play as Corvo Itano or Emily Caldwin, a new character. Both have their own unique sets of powers, their own weapons and gadgets. And of course, you can combine these things creatively to eliminate your targets as you see fit. You can play with weapons drawn, or you can play the entire game without killing anyone. We'll tell you more as soon as we can, but what we're here tonight to say is that Dishonored 2 is coming, and will be available for PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4. Thank you so much. All right. <clears throat> And uh, while you wait for the new game, we have more of the original Dishonored for you to enjoy. 
It is Dishonored Definitive Edition. It comes with all the original game, plus all of the add-on content, and all of it has been graphically enhanced for Xbox One and PS4. <laughs> so the Dishonored Definitive Edition will be available this fall. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the show. Hi everyone and good evening. Five days ago we launched the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited for the PS4 and Xbox One consoles. For the first time in the franchise's award-winning history, console players all over the world are now able to experience an Elder Scrolls game with friends. We're pleased to see millions of people online enjoying the game, whether it's by themselves, with a group, or in massive battles. We're sorry we can't be with you in person tonight, but we need to be in the studio to support the recent launch. We're also working hard on adding even more content and new features to this already vast world. We're excited about what fans have to look forward to next, so here's a peek at what the team at ZeniMax Online Studios is bringing to Tamriel Unlimited this year. What can I say? I love games and I, every opportunity to play, I take advantage of. And with a tablet or a mobile device like this one, I can take games with me wherever I go, on the plane, at my in-law's house, or even at an important E3 showcase at the Dolby Theater. Um, people who know me know that I am a huge fan of strategy card games. I play them a lot. I have also worked on the Elder Scrolls series in some way or another for over a third of my life. So this next game is particularly exciting to me because it brings those two worlds together. Tonight, we are pleased to announce The Elder Scrolls Legends, a strategy card game that builds on the rich legacy of Skyrim and The Elder Scrolls Online and brings the world of The Elder Scrolls to a completely new genre. Here's a sneak peek. Past. Present. Future. The Elder Scrolls hold all of Tamriel's history. That which has transpired, and that which is yet to be. They speak of heroes, and their quests. Of challenges yet to be faced, and prophecies yet to be fulfilled. But they do not tell us your role. For your destiny is your own to craft. Will you fade into memory? Or will you carve your name into myth? And 
join those who have become legends. The Elder Scrolls Legends will be free to play and available on PC and iPad later this year. We can't wait to share more details with you in the coming months. And whether you're a strategy card game fan like me or an Elder Scrolls fan also like me or neither, uh, we think Legends is something you'll definitely want to check out. Uh, and with that, I am sorry to say that we have come to the end of our showcase. Um, what <laughs> Did I, we, we, did, we did Doom, right? We did Battle Cry and... <laughs> we did say something about that being here. My bad, I forgot. We do have one more presentation. It is from Bethesda Game Studios. And... There, there was no E3, there was none of this. You remember that we had CES in Vegas and the video games weren't even in the main building, they were in like an ancillary tent with the porn. <laughs> it's not, I'm not kidding. Uh, Blizzard's booth was closer for the record. Um, but now, now look at us, look at all of you here, look at video games, everybody online uh, watching this. Uh, this is how you spend a quiet Sunday evening, I guess. Um, and you do this because games are important to all of us here. And I think we can all agree that tonight starts a week with E3 that is the world's best week of entertainment ever. Because entertainment is an essential part of our lives, and games can do things that nothing else in entertainment can. They can transport you to new worlds. They can give you the true wonder of discovery and often the pride of accomplishing something yourself in a game. It's a wonderful moment. And in the world of entertainment, there are very few things as good as Fallout. You know, we started, we've worked on Fallout for over 10 years now, and we started designing this one actually right after Fallout 3 in 2009. Um, we were busy with the Skyrim game, uh, but for the last four years, we have been working very, very hard to create something really special, and we've done a lot, and tonight we are going to show you a lot. And it all starts with an obsession to detail. Our artists concept every button, every blinky light, not just on one terminal, on all of them. Because it's our belief that it's all of these small details coming together that form a much, much larger whole.
And that last image is really important because one of the great things about Fallout is the world that existed before the bombs fell. And that is where our game starts. <laughs> On a beautiful Saturday morning with the threat of nuclear war looming. You're going to knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. And this is where you create your character by simply selecting part of the face and sculpting. Such a cute nose. What do you think, huh? Beard or no beard? We're going to speed up time here and show you just how easy and powerful this is to create all new characters by just sculpting and making changes wherever you want in the face. No series of sliders. Hey, my turn, big guy. And of course, you can play as a female. <laughs> Whoever you leave the menu as right is who you'll play. And this is an entirely dynamic system. It's the same system we use to create all of the game's NPCs. We even generate a baby based on the couple you make. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee, 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brew to perfection. Thanks, Kazuo. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. Good morning, Voltec calling. Voltec, remind me again. Why we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Voltec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? Mr. Howard, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. You heard Codsworth say my name. That isn't for the demo. We actually have recorded around a thousand of the most popular names for him to say. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this. Confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. We... We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Almost there. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Hold on! Now, we're not going to be spoiling or talking about the game's story tonight, but you do survive and get lowered into the vault. Events transpire, but you then emerge 200 years later as the sole survivor of Vault 111. This is an enormous dynamic world 
where you can create any kind of character you want, go where you want, and do whatever you want. Player freedom remains our absolute number one goal. This is running on a next generation version of our creation engine, features full physical based rendering as well as dynamic volumetric lighting. So, other people could still be alive, too. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. No. No, that's not possible. I wasn't out there that long. That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. What? Food? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back. Even our dialogue is dynamic. It is not a mode you're locked into. You can play it in first person. You can play it in third person. You can walk away whenever you want. You can shoot him in the face if you want. <laughs> Yourself. You want to come with me, pal? <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. Hey, <laughs> head over there. And yes, you can give the dog commands by simply pointing at things in the environment and activating them. It's all contextual. Grab that. <laughs> Ready to get back out there? It is from here that you'll explore the most ambitious and detailed game world that we have ever made, culminating in the massive ruins of downtown Boston. Now to the cool stuff. <laughs> this is a, a very old photo 
from the future, um, of course, of the invention of the very first Pip-Boy, uh, which is, will become, the world's uh, greatest smartwatch due to its power and portability. Um, and of course, we have a new one in Fallout 4. This is where you find it when you leave the vault. Now you do spend a lot of time in our games looking at your stats, your items, and more. So we put a lot of emphasis on making this entertaining, but also making it come alive on the screen. Your various items. We do have a layered armor system now. There are holotapes you can listen to, and some of these are even game tapes. We like all kinds of games. Yeah. We, we just, you know, the Pip-Boy is an important part of Fallout, and we love it so much. We made a real one. Uh, so uh, this comes with our collector's edition. Uh, so it is the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy edition. And yes, you can put your phone in it. And yes, we made an app for it. So it, 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 it works with the game. And yes, it's a second screen experience. And usually, I find second screen experiences, they're generally just stupid gimmicks. Um, <laughs> But like, as far as stupid gimmicks goes, I assure you, it's the best fucking one I have ever seen. It is awesome. It is. Um, it is. Here, I, I'm going to show it to you in action. It works. It, it actually works perfectly. Um, it's the same code that we use on the Pip-Boy running on the app. Works on any platform on your local Wi-Fi, Xbox One, PS4, PC. Uh, of course, if you don't get the Pip-Boy edition, it'll obviously still work on your smartphone or tablet. Um, it's going to be iOS and Android, and it'll come out when the game comes out. <laughs> but we've also done something else for your smartphone and your tablets, a totally new game. I know. <clears throat> we, we're busy. We do stuff. Um, back in 2007, we were making Fallout 3, and the iPhone came out, and we just fell in love with it. And we played games on it all the time. And we kept talking about making our own game uh, for it, a separate game from what we would usually normally do. Uh, we had a lot of ideas. We kept coming back to this one that we felt would be perfect on a touch screen and that would be no better anywhere else. So we decided to do it, uh, and here it is. It is called Fallout Shelter. And in it, you get to make your own vault. And you are the overseer controlling everything. Uh, you control uh, the people in the vault. It's your job to keep them productive and happy. This is inspired by games, the other games we love, going back 30 years to little computer people. You'll see inspirations, obviously, from XCOM, SimCity, FTL, things that we really, really like. Each dweller has full stats. They all level up. There are items, you can give them new outfits, weapons, which they'll need when you send them off into the wasteland. Um, 
So they'll head off into the wasteland and they'll have adventures and get stuff. This is actually inspired by an odd little RPG called Progress Quest. If you've never, look, look it up, it's really cute. Uh, resources are important, having the right balance of food, water, and power. There are lots of different rooms you can build, uh, ones that give you resources. Some of them train people. They train your dwellers' stats. The bar, of course, trains charisma. <laughs> Classroom does intelligence. There are children. More on that in a bit. And you do get rewarded with lunch boxes full of random loot. Accidents can happen, fires can break out, uh, rat roach attacks, uh, attacks, raiders can attack. And of course, the, the best way to get new dwellers is the old, the old fashioned way. It raises their happiness when they go in the room. And of course, as overseer, you get to name all the babies. Um, and that is Fallout Shelter. Now, this game is going to be free, but don't worry, there, there are no paywall timers. You don't need an internet connection. Uh, you, you build something, it's instantly built. Um, Again, no internet connection. You can play it wherever you want. Um, we do let you buy more lunch boxes if you want more random loot, but the whole goal of this game was to do something we'd really want to play on our phones, something that made us smile and had you know, more depth than other things we were seeing. But what's been especially exciting about this game is for us to finally work with uh, some great folks at Apple. And what's even more exciting is that this game is coming out on the App Store tonight. So, uh, yeah, no, no soft launch. <laughs> it's uh, going to start rolling worldwide after the showcase this evening. I hope you check it out. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. But we're not done talking about Fallout 4 yet. So back to the, the big one. Uh, you know, we love building stuff in our games. Um, and if you think about building and crafting, Fallout is kind of the perfect world to do all of that in. Um, so like many things, we have gone completely overboard. And here's how it works in the game. We're allowing your character, while playing, to rebuild. And it works like this, you can scrap items in the world for materials, and then use those materials to build the way you want. And one of the great things about having a fully dynamic game engine is all of this just works in real time. Rip it apart and build the way you want. Like the rest of the game, this is about making it your own experience. We want you to build and decorate and, and make yourself really um, a place you want to live in, a new home uh, for yourself and your best friend, of course. <laughs> As your settlement grows, people will arrive, including certain traders. They have some of the best items in the game. Uh, for these people, you will need to, you can plant food, water, and even uh, power generators. All right, so the generators will power things through switches that require power, lights and other items. And then you run wires that connect them all, and it, again, it, it just works. You can also build your own terminals that hook to this power grid, and then you can control the various things and tweak them that the power lines are connected to. 
This includes things like turrets, Because you do want to build defenses uh, because your settlements can and will get attacked uh, by raiders. So it's fun to build up something yourself in the game that usually you'll find that, that we have built for you. Um, and there are many large sites in the game world where we allow you to build. And you can even run Brahmin caravans between your settlements. Uh, keep in mind, like most things we do, uh, this is an optional part of the game that you can do if you want to. It's just one part of a huge game. But it's really, really great for Fallout. We just absolutely love this feature. And this crafting system carries over to other things in the world. So let's say you want to build this scope. And the game will tell you you need these components. And those components are found in all of the items in the world. So you could decide to build this scope out of these, you know, say the microscope, a toy car, or these, you know, duct tape, an alarm clock, and such. So we like to fill our worlds with thousands of items that you can interact with. And now, all of them have purpose. And here's what it looks like in the game. We do have over 50 base weapons and over 700 modifications for those weapons. So you could take a basic, you know, a laser pistol from Fallout, just one of the base weapons, and then modify that and turn it into something completely new. Even modify your own power armor. We've we've spent a lot of time on all the weapons and the armor because we have focused heavily from day one to make the combat in this game feel great. And feel great no matter how you played it. You want to play it full on first person, you can play it in third person, or you can use VATS, which now gives you more control to slow down time and choose your shots. You know, there's, there's a lot of great things uh, that this game does, but I tell you, you can be experiencing, you know, a quiet moment in the game with your dog, and the right song comes on your Pip-Boy, and the action breaks out, and you're reminded just how fun and special a Fallout game can be. Ready to fuck some shit up? Got a dog, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she had it bang but tall.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this has been obviously a really special project for everybody in the team. Many of them are here in the house tonight. Can you guys wave? Give a big hand. Uh, you know, our fans really are the greatest in the world. I know many of you are here tonight, and I want to let you know just how important it is to us, and we know we have a responsibility to do this game right, and your love and support of Fallout have pushed us to make this our best work. Um, and we really appreciate everybody's patience. You know, we didn't say anything for years in this game while everybody waited. Um, and we don't want you to wait too much longer. So we're happy to say Fallout 4 is coming out November 10th this year. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody. I really, really, we really hope you love the game. Thanks again. Not that I should have to ask, but I can, can I please get another round of applause for that man? That boy knows how to make a game and give a demo. Uh, just a reminder, you don't need to wait to get your Fallout fixed till this fall. Uh, Fallout Shelter will be available right after the showcase is over. You can find a direct link to it on our blog. We'll also be putting it out over all of our social media channels, so we hope you'll take a moment to download it and give it a try. We think you guys will like it. And now we really have come to the end of the show. Um, you just got to look at what is coming from Bethesda in the next year, and there's still more to come from our other studios. We are always trying to push the boundaries of what players can expect from our games wherever they play them, and we think this lineup has something for everyone. From The Elder Scrolls to Fallout, from Doom to Dishonored, we hope these are the games that people will be talking about and playing for years to come. Before we wrap up, one more thing. We've created something special to commemorate our first showcase and to thank all of you for helping us make it such a big success. Take a look. Where is he? Come on out. It's okay. You can, you can bring your friends out. Come on, guys. There they are. So you can pick up your set of figures uh, on the way out tonight. I got, I got to be honest, I, I feel like that's a mixed reaction. If you don't want it, it's fine. You can just leave it there. <laughs> now, for those of you at home on Twitch, do not despair. We did set aside some of these for you guys. We are going to be giving them away on the post show with Adam and Morgan. So stay tuned to find out how you can win of one of these. Also on the post show, you'll get more details about everything you heard tonight, plus exclusive conversations and interviews with Marty, Todd, Roth, and Harvey. So stay tuned. Okay. That's it, folks. We hope you enjoyed our first ever E3 showcase. Thank you so much.